Uh, this is from Captain Dad, the manly art of stay-at-home parenting. <laughs> Yay! Ask for it by name. And this is from the chapter called Let's Do Lunch. <coughs> you can eat off the floor in my kitchen. In fact, if you're willing to get down on your hands and knees, you could probably cobble together an entire meal. <laughs> of course, it would consist entirely of crumbs. Yes, crumbs. Crumbs. I spend a ridiculous amount of time sweeping up crumbs. Blizzards of them. It doesn't matter what the kids are eating. Bananas. There will be crumbs. Like sawdust at a mill, they fly with every buzz, cut, and nibble. No matter how many times I tell my kids to eat over their plates, if I used a rake instead of a broom, I could create my own zen garden underneath the kitchen table. <laughs> so I sweep after every meal, after every snack, after every time I just finished sweeping, but someone just had to come back for one more bite of something she hadn't quite finished. Like brunch after the Sermon on the Mount, you'd be astounded at the crumbus fallout. One last little bite can rain on your freshly swept floor. Unless you have kids, that is. Then you know too painfully well. A lazy man might suggest putting it off till the end of the day and sweeping them up all at once. I know because I was that lazy man. <laughs> and you know what I found out? I found out that a truly lazy man will sweep early and often. Because if he doesn't, tiny little feet will ferry those crumbs to every corner <laughs> of the house. Like busy bees pollinating a grove of very flat polyurethane trees. I can't tell you how many times I have found what I thought were maggots in the baby's room. Only to be relieved that it was only dried rice. Only to be unrelieved at the subsequent thought of what other natural ant baits were hiding there. So, sweep. Learn to love it. And I do, sort of. Uh, I mean, sweeping does have a zen-like appeal. It's a time I get to send the kids out of the room, shrieking, Don't walk in my dirt! Just like my mother used to. <laughs> and savor a moment's relative relief from my two little entropy machines. So long as I don't think about the chaos that is going on in the next room while I'm restoring order to the kitchen floor. <laughs>